Hi everybody. Today is December 28, 2019, 7.32 p.m. Temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 19 degrees Celsius. I am in the Yonghe district of New Taipei City at Zhongshan Road. And today I'm going to do a walk of the Lehua Night Market. So this is a very interesting night market in the busiest district of the Taipei metropolitan area. There's more people who live in this district than any other place. It's very dense. Just take a look at this. There's like uh, popcorn chicken here. Everyone's lined up for the pork sausage and sticky rice filled pork sausage. I guess they're making sugar cane here? I don't know. Yeah, sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice, wow. So, to my understanding, this night market is shaped like a Y. So, there's some um, scallion pancakes here, yellow onion, onion rings, sausage, brown sugar, bubble tea. This is definitely not a night market that many people who come here to travel go to. They know the Schiller night market and Rauha night market. This is a very local night market for the people who live here. Here's one, it's called the Sunny Chat Thai. So this is a Thai drink place. That looks like Thai iced tea. Okay. And don't know what this is. Here we have don't know what that is, but if you can read Chinese, this is the characters. Oh, wheel cake. Wheel cake's a very popular dessert in Taiwan. This one I think is a, uh, wow, oyster maybe? Definitely a very uh, local vibe around here. This stall seems to be popular. iPhone cases and other souvenirs and trinkets. It's a little crowded to be driving scooters here, but We'll see. Uh, this place has a large sitting area behind it. I think they have like different kinds of noodles here and other stuff. But this is the menu here. All right, I'm gonna go this way, so go around. And there's squid here and also bacon wrapped with mushroom and chives. Wow, that is a really interesting combination. There's also a stall here off to the side people are lined up for. Grilled corn. Wow, smells good, that's for sure. And here's a um, local candy place, maybe, or vending machine. Huh. Let's see what they got here. 
90? I don't know what 90 is supposed to be. I think I'll go back and get some wheel cake. Because that wheel cake actually looked pretty good. After all, what's the point of walking through a night market if you don't experience what food there is? Let's see. I want the... Oh, wow. You know, I never had bubble cream wheel cake. I'm going to get that. It's 20 per each. I'll check a bubble cream wheel cake. Okay. okay, share share. Okay. All right. So that was 15. I thought it was 20, but that's a good value. Let's try this out. Huh. Wow, it even has like a cat decoration on it. So, I'm going to try this on the go. As soon as I find an opening, I can go this way. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's try bubble cream. Mmm. That is good. Mm. Mm. Bubble tea, cream, wheel cake. Who never thought? Wow. Mm. Okay. That is. It's like beer, maybe. This is a candy store. Wow. That might be for Chinese New Year coming up soon. Let's see what's going on over here. Wow, these are a lot of different things cookies and green tea, maybe. They even have samples. Let's try one. Let's try this one. This is, uh, I don't know, sesame? Mmm. It's good. Tastes very good. Mm. It's hard to walk in this night market. You kind of have to like go with the crowd and then turn around. Otherwise, you won't be able to get through. <laughs> orange juice. 50 quai for orange juice. Fresh, fresh. And here is not sure what this is, but there's also one for candy. 
Well, it doesn't look like candy. It looks like uh, sweets, maybe. Wow. This kind of reminds me of the um, round, I don't know what they call them. They call like the round stuff for Chinese New Year you eat. I come from a Chinese American family, so we always traditionally eat those for New Year's. I think it's called Tong Yuan, but we'll see. That looks like shrimp with egg. And this is 65. Oh, wow. It might be oyster also. Oyster pancake. And wow. A lot of stuff here. I think they cook it for you. And they put it together in a soup maybe. Here's all the ingredients. Wow, these are like different characters. Pig, pigeon, bird. Different cakes and different designs. Very cute. Wow, different flavored french fries there. That kind of reminds me of palm frites, if anyone's familiar with it, near NYU. I'm doing this as a New Yorker, so. Popsicle sticks. Mm. I think they're eating like different kinds of stuff over rice. That's like a quick place to eat. Here they cook whatever you want. Wow, picture menu here, very big one. Let's stop over here and take a look. Wow, a lot of stuff here. All these children are playing games. Looks like pinball. And we have the claw machine, which is very popular in Taiwan as well. This looks to me like a dessert place. It says ice cool, so. I'm not sure if this is the shaved ice, but I know it's very popular in Taiwan. Shaved ice. Here's some fried dough with soy milk. Yonghe District is known for its soy milk. So. This kind of looks like uh, noodle soup. Different kinds of meats they can cook with it. Uh, wow, this is, um, I forgot what they call this chicken in Chinese, but it's seasoned with something. Tofu noodles. We got some clothing stores here too. And over here, um, I think this is like sushi. Wow. Sushi and different ingredients they have. And here's all the prices too. This looks like a really good place. Little Italy Cafe. I think it's for here. And that owner was very interested in my camera setup. I can tell. Wow. It's a long line for this place. I guess Little Italy Cafe is very like famous around here. Game of chance, you put your you try to put a ball in a cup and you win some prizes. 
Got some juices there. Big coconut too. All right, here's the Y where the night market splits off. I'll come back around once I go down this way. Wow, she is skilled in putting that chicken out. Different juices. This is like different things on skewers, different meats. This is a Thai uh, place, Thai spring rolls. Uh, different cake. Another restaurant here. Has some eggs and noodles. I even hear some live music too. So this night market comes alive with music as well. Yu Hori Zoro is his name on Facebook if you're interested. I smell stinky tofu here, so I know it's a stinky tofu place. For me, I don't really care for stinky tofu. All right, I think the night market is dying down a little bit, so let's go down this way to the other side of the night market. I'm not sure if I'm able to connect to it there, but I see a lot of people walking down, so I think it'll be okay. Nice dog in the stroller. We'll also get, see what a uh, residential lane looks like. People here park their scooters on both sides of the street. You got entrances to doorways there. I can't imagine we're that far from the other side of the night market. We are going in the same like general direction. But if I get lost, then I just have to turn back, that's all. All right, I think this is the other side of the night market. We will see. Well, there's someone selling t-shirts here. This is definitely not the night market, but it is very interesting. But I see a lot of people down there, so let's go and check it out. Okay, I think I've found it. Little bit of a detour, but it was an interesting one. 
Those look like fish balls or seafood balls. Wow, I think it's even busier down here. Reminds me of Times Square a little bit. Actually, this kind of reminds me of Rao He Night Market. It's a little bit like the same width. This seems to be more of like clothing though than food. Okay, a massage place. Facial threading and foot massage center. More fruit juice. Let me just check Google to make sure I'm still on track for following this night market. Because I don't want to um, get lost. That'll be not a good thing. Yeah, I'm still on track. This is the other side. It just winds over here. That looks like fried rice a little bit. Wow, this is something I've never seen before. Like beef and fungus, edamame. Okay. Egg puffs, whoa. Wow, look at that, huh? chicken and radish I think so I'm gonna enter the other side of the street going this way Taiwanese guava, this is so good. More grilled corn. And this is very good for the Chinese New Year. I may get one. Why not? We are this one. So 50. That's a lot for that. I thought it was going to be uh, like 30 or 20. But I'll have to see how it is. I don't think I should have said I was for goat to go though. Because otherwise they wouldn't have wrapped it. And I could have just enjoyed it. Alright, let's try this out. This is what it looks like. It looks like candied strawberry. So, let's 
try this. What? The whole thing's like coming out. Mm. Mm. You know, it's so sweet and it feels like there's a lot of sugar in this. I'm not really a fan of it. Mmm. Wow. Not really a fan, I'll tell you. It's also a lot for this, too. Looks like hot pot. It's a long line for this one. Kind of reminds me of the Rauha Night Market line for the black pepper steak. Let me throw this out. Okay. So this is what this long line's for, the salted fish. Wow. All right, everyone. This concludes this tour of the Le Hua Night Market in the Yonghe district of New Taipei City. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe for some more if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.